Hey producers, Cutman here. I'm gonna show you how to get your music on iTunes and Spotify real quick with DistroKid. They're super fast, you can upload unlimited music, and they don't take any of your earnings. Accounts only cost a flat 20 bucks a year. Plus, they have features that make collabs and covers super easy, which I do a lot of. So uh, let's walk through the uploading of my new video game cover, Chill Buster. I'm gonna go click on to upload, and um, here it is, we're ready to go. Music stores. So the first up, we got the stores. It's a list of all the stores you can get your music to. I usually leave them all turned on unless I've got a special arrangement or am doing an exclusive, like on Spotify. Artist name. This is where I uh, this is where I type DJ Cutman. Uh, it's important that our name in this field it matches exactly our profile on stores, so the track ends up linked to our proper profile. A track we're shipping today is a collaboration, so I'm going to use an ampersand and separate my name from my collaborator. Then I'm going to choose this is a collaboration, so DistroKid knows to submit this track to both of our profiles. Release date. This is the release date when we want the track to be publicly available. I usually release my tracks on Fridays, uh, and I usually have about two weeks to promote. If you want it out as soon as possible, pick today or tomorrow's date, and DistroKid will tell stores to release it as soon as they receive it. This usually takes a few days, uh, and it can vary from store to store. Pre-orders. If you want to allow pre-orders, it's really easy to do that right here. Uh, if you're trying to chart, pre-orders count as day one sales, so that will give you an edge over your competition. Album cover. Next up is the album cover, which is uh, fairly self-explanatory. We upload our JPEG or ping image, and it's got to be a perfect square, or else DistroKid will tell you to crop it. Genres. I always spend like a little too much time trying to figure out the genre. Uh, it doesn't matter a whole lot. Uh, you just have to dig through this like whole collection of archaic genres and find what best fits your song. So good luck on that one. Cover song licenses. Now, since this is a cover song, I want to make sure I get a cover song license because it's really important that the, the original composer gets compensated for their work. And this used to be such a pain, but it's really, really easy with DistroKid. So we're going to check cover song and we're going to scroll past all this and put the original song title and composer. DistroKid will charge a fee of $1 per month to administer this cover song and we'll end up paying about a dime on the dollar to compensate the original composer or rights holder. Not too bad. In the olden days, we had to buy all these things like up front and it was super expensive to do covers. But this is a real game changing, just an awesome, awesome feature. Extras. So look, we're almost done. This is the final checklist right here. There's some add-ons we could do. I only really recommend uh, the free one. So now we, uh, we're ready to ship. I always scroll back up and do a once over on everything just to make sure everything is right. Then when we're ready, we hit the uh, button. We shipped a song, let's get paid. Great, so now that everything is all set up, we wanna make sure our team is set up. My collaborator can get his percentage of the royalties. We'll select the song. We get this very simple form where we just input the email addresses of our collaborators and the percentage that we get. So me and Nick's are doing 50-50 on this, so I'll just put in 50-50. I put in his email, which I'm blocked out here, so you can't bother him. <laughs> Nick's will get an email and be able to set the team, and then from there on, all of the money will be automatically split between our two accounts. This is just so, so, so awesome. I, I love this feature, it's the best. So there we have it. We just slipped a collaborative cover song in just a couple minutes with DistroKid. Uh, I hope you found this informative. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to respond to them. And if you want to see more topics uh, me cover on this channel, please just let me know because um, I'm happy. I'm here for you. I'm happy to be of service. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.